I don't think I could even imagine the physiological and mental difficulties it must be if you have a body weight of 500 pounds or more than that. Uh, there's two uh, fairly famous people which um, I'm aware of and I follow um, who are in the super morbidly obese category. Um, there is Boogie2988 that you'll see um, doing lovely person, and, and uh, their size and their body weight has no reference on how nice a person they are, but it's just, it's incomprehensible what struggles they must uh, go through in everyday tasks, all day, every day and night. And that from, from an average person like myself, um, trying to give advice um, or, or even support or even criticism to people who are at that position, that stage uh, of their of their weight gain um, or their weight position is is completely pointless. Um, so there's Boogie Nine uh, Boogie Two Nine Eight Eight. Um, he's just recently had gastric band no uh, gastric bypass. Uh, so I think they take out a massive part of his stomach and he's now on a weight loss journey. It was very difficult for him to get the actual go-ahead for the surgery because you have to, before you get the surgery, you have to prove that you can control your eating. Um, uh, Biggie has uh, done a few videos where he's talked about the kind of uh, violence and traumatic upbringing that he had, which is possibly um, he's consoled himself through obsessive eating um, and poor eating uh, choices. Um, so you know, there's it's always a psychological aspect to people who have put on uh, this weight. I would say when it gets to like the super morbidly obese, it's all psychological. Um, obviously it's what you're eating, but the reason you're eating what you're eating is purely down to psychological reasons. Um, the other person who uh, some people may know, a uh, famous um, super morbidly obese person is, again, seems like a lovely person, uh, David Elmore Smith. Um, I have him on Facebook and he he was on a TV show called The 650 Pound Virgin and he uh, got uh, exercise and life coaching and weight training and all that kind of stuff from a personal trainer called uh, Chris Powell. Um, Chris Powell, this ripped super athlete, um, runs up hills with rocks on his backs kind of stuff. Uh, he And he did the transformation, as in David Elmore Smith did the transformation. He went from 600 pounds to um, to an astonishing change. I don't know if we've got uh, photos of it on his page here. Um, but he then rebounded. So after uh, the TV show stopped following him, after the, the coach stopped helping him, um, I think that, like Chris Powell was still kept in contact with him, the weight piled back on, and it piled back on fast. Faster than what any of us can imagine. Faster than what, if I just all day just ate, 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 my metabolism wouldn't put on that amount of weight, I don't think. I think there's, there's a special aspect of when you've battered your body with obesity, your body is so ready to get obese again. Uh, here's, here's a random fact for you. Um, your fat cells in your body, uh, you never get less fat cells. Um, you only shrink the size of your fat cells. However, if you pursue fatness, if you, if you get fat and keep on getting fatter and you don't serve yourself, your fat cells can proliferate so you can have more fat cells. It's a bit like um it's a bit like muscles. You don't get more muscle fibers. Uh, you just get bigger muscle fibers. It's, it's a bizarre concept. I was like, I want to get more muscles. It's like you don't get more muscles, you just get bigger muscles. Same with fat cells. Generally you don't get more fat cells unless you are really fat for a long period of time and constantly pushing fat into your cells. Um, and then your body will go, well, let's grow some more fat cells to take up all this excess energy that we're storing. And when you lose weight, you don't necessarily kill the fat cells. It, it's very difficult to get to the point where you're killing, where your body's actually destroying fat cells or not replacing them through metabolism. Um, but what it will do is it'll just suck a bit of the fat out of the fat cells. So when you've been morbidly obese, it's very easy to get back to being morbidly obese because you've got so many fat cells just sitting waiting for being filled up effectively. 
Um, so David Elmer Smith, he is somebody who, when he stopped in the show, stopped in the transformation, he it, it, it almost looked like he had been attacked by fat. Um, it was on his body in, in places where it just shouldn't normally be. I'm just going through his fat. Let's see up on his, uh, his Facebook page. Oh, it doesn't show photos. Let's see photos here. Uh, his profile pictures. Yeah, let's look at... He got lean. Uh, well, he just became a your average kind of guy uh, with huge amounts of excess skin, which was holding all those fat cells. Um, and uh, and there he was. But it's, it kind of just attacked him afterwards. Where it just... <laughs> but to the same point, it's like, it's amazing that he is actually alive. He has cooked, like, I think he's about 800 pounds or so. Uh, no, not 800 pounds, 600. Yeah, look at how here, mobile uploads. It's fat in a way which doesn't, that just doesn't normally happen. How do you get fat coming, how, how do you have a ledge going at the back of your neck, then going down the way? Um, It's, like, I understand around the fat, around the back, actually up the way, almost looks like he's got hunched back. Um, it's it's like his body has actually been attacked in a way which us average people still couldn't possibly comprehend. And I think that's him on his, on his weight loss again. So he, he got back to being fat again. Uh, and uh, it's, it's difficult because on his page, on his Facebook page, he's constantly kind of giving motivation. And he's like, hey, I'm going to do extreme... Uh, walking, oh, it's going to be extreme heat. Uh, it's like, oh, yeah, everyone come meet me down at the park and do this kind of stuff. Um, and you say, yeah, you met with Chris and Heidi. I'm thinking they're uh, that that might be Chris Powell, um, the, the trainer again. And uh, it's it's just difficult. So he, in June, so a couple months ago, I said, good news, bad news, um, hung out with Chris this morning, then weighed in at 600 pounds. So he went down to, I think it's about 200 pounds, and he's three times the size again. But it's like, starting point, hashtag starting point, hashtag I'm not going to die like this. So he himself mentally knows that this weight is deadly. To actually get to this level and not be dead is uh, is an achievement. It's actually quite phenomenal. Um, but yet, this morning, I went on his channel and he's done a weigh-in video. He had, He's such a, the size of him is so big that he has to weigh himself right, on. It's 23rd. It's a zero. On like a, I don't know what you call them, um, outdoor scales. Uh, so he was 600 pounds a wee while ago, and the scales are now telling him. All right. 620. 620 pounds. So just in, when was that? In under a month, he's gained an extra 20 pounds of weight. Um, it's, again, it's, it's a rate of weight change which the average person couldn't achieve normally. And it, But at the same time, look at this guy. He is outside, he's walking, and he's walking with 600 pounds. To have the physical strength to lift yourself up at 620 pounds and walk at 620 pounds, that is phenomenal strength and fitness. Um, and so I, I think I left him a comment just saying, um, like, walking for three to five minutes, which at his weight would be an astronomical achievement. But doing that a couple of times, so not going like, hey, I'm going to go out for a massive walk today in extreme heat. Oh, this is going to be great. It's like, no, just just go and walk to your park and back. Do it in the morning, do it just before lunch, do it just after lunch, do it again just before dinner, maybe just uh, at the end of the day as well. Just like, it's going to be two minutes there, two minutes back. You know, something simple, just around the block. If you're doing that with 620 pounds weighing down on you, that will be... So good for you. <laughs> that that will definitely aid in losing weight, um, and and it's more the shorter duration, um, but more repetitive, uh, more repeat durations. Instead of doing one big session for people this way, for like smaller people, um, looking to really 
increase fitness and running ability. Obviously, long runs are better than short runs um, in terms of intensity. But this guy, to do three minutes of walking with 600 pounds, that is the highest intensity exercise that anybody could imagine at the moment. There's, there's power lifters and bodybuilders that if you said, right, hold 650 pounds, go for a walk for three minutes. <laughs> it's the world's strongest man couldn't do that. Um, so even though people may kind of go, oh, this is terrible, this is, look at, look at the state that he's in, you kind of got to go, look at the phenomenal potential that this guy's got inside him to, to change himself again. But, so he's got the physical ability and he's had all the training and he's got the friends and he's got the coaching, but he just doesn't have the mental aspect to it. I think they said uh, the reason why he gained all his weight, he went back to booze and comfort eating or binge eating and uh, and maybe maybe drugs, not too sure. Um, but, uh, and you've got to address the psychological part um, of all this kind of stuff. You, and, like, bizarrely, he's, he's said no to gastric band... Um, I don't know if he said no or he's been not allowed the gastric um, bypass uh, surgeries. And that may be because that, A, he's proved that he can lose all that weight naturally without having to get the sur the surgeries. So it's like, well, if you can do it without the surgery, do it without the surgery. But also maybe there's a psychological aspect to it going, if we give you the surgery and then you went on a on a booze binge, you would kill yourself. Like, with no stomach and just taking uh, a couple of shots of beer, it may be the case of then that, that's you dead. The alcohol will just course through your body and you'll you'll die almost instantly. So maybe that's one of the reasons why he hasn't gone for the actual uh, medical intervention going on here. Um, but yeah, like he's got a channel and it's it's irritating that on his channel, again, he's, he hasn't done anything for a good wee while. And like his last video, left comments on it again, he was 530 pounds, so he's put on 100 pounds uh, two years ago. And it doesn't seem to be coming off um, his weight. But here, he was out hill walking. And I'm like, hill walking? Climbing up a hill? He was hard, was racing, he was down. It's like, that's an amazing achievement. But how about smaller achievements every day? Small, smaller achievements multiple times a day, rather than one big achievement that nearly kills you. And I think that's my end, where I'm going to end this one. It's like... For fitness and for health, smaller achievements more often can have a greater effect than one big achievement less often. There's probably a better way to paraphrase that. You can figure that one out. But yeah, and especially if you're at the stage of being of gaining a lot of weight, maybe getting past just the obesity level and going to morbidly obese, don't have massive goals. Don't have like, I'm going to lose 200 pounds, we're going to go to crash out. It's like, how about you start off with the most basic of goals? Walking to the end of the street and back. Do it five times a day. You can do it five times a day, go to the next street. You can do that, do it ten times a day. Do it in the morning before you have your breakfast. Uh, if, you know, all just smaller, don't have the same goals as somebody who's uh, an Olympic level athlete. Have the goals, if you're at this stage, of somebody who's just come out of a, of a car crash rehab. You know, you know they're needing physiology because they've just learned to walk. If you're carrying 600 pounds, don't be thinking, I'm going to go, go, I should be climbing mountains. Don't be climbing mountains. Start walking streets. Oh, that sounded a bit better. That sounded like a, a phrase, a quote. Keep that. <laughs> Cheers. Bye-bye.